So does money you get from a trust count as income to you? You know, I mean, if mom and dad pass away, you're going to be taxed on that. Think about this. Uh, you work at a job and you get your paycheck, right? That's taxable income under federal law and under state law. And you're going to pay at your uh, um, tax rate, whatever bracket you're in, you're going to pay the taxes on that. Um, income has a very specific definition under our tax code, though. It, there's a lot of ways to define it, but generally it's earned. You earned it. Okay. That's the big distinction. So if you receive money from a trust, generally speaking, it's not deemed income to you if you're the beneficiary. Now that's different if you received, say, a family member passed away and they had an IRA or a 401k or some other type of retirement account. That, if you were the beneficiary in that or it went through the trust and now it's coming to you, yeah, sorry, bad news. That's gonna be taxable income to you. So you gotta deal with that. And most of those types of accounts must be withdrawn within 10 years of their death. So you're going to receive all of that as taxable income over the course of that 10 years. And that's from dollar one. There's no exemptions for that. Now, if you are planning your estate and you want to avoid that consequence, there are some strategies. You've got to look into a charitable remainder trust because generally speaking, you can double that to 20 years, get your beneficiaries a whole lot more money, and then still leave a gift to charity. Pretty cool stuff. But so there's two parts. Most things like if the house is sold, um, the cars are sold, whatever, you receive those as a beneficiary, not taxable income. Life insurance, not taxable income. But if you receive retirement accounts, IRAs, 401ks, beneficiary, taxable income.